In this Canva tutorial, let's take a look at the Canva desktop app. That's right, Canva works really well in a browser, but you can also download a desktop app that you can use. So whether you're on Mac or Windows, it doesn't matter. You're gonna start with a design, uh, or at least it's easier to start with a design, whether it's blank or uh, you just have a design already. And you can go up to the file drop down, And from there, at the very bottom, you see this open in desktop app. Now, right now, I don't think I have it installed. So what it will do is actually go over here to a download page. It knows I'm on Mac, also available Windows, iOS, Android. So it's available on your phone and tablet as well. But you can download Canva for Mac. So we click this button and it begins the download process. Once it's been downloaded, I can just click on the installer to open it. And on Mac, generally, we just drag an app over to our applications folder. And then if nothing happens, we can go find that app to open it up. Uh, but that should basically install it. There may be some extra installers once we find it. Here on Mac, you can go to your Finder window and you can find applications here in the sidebar. And then you should be able to find what you just drug in there. So Canva, and I can double click on that to open it up. Now, as Canva opens for the first time, it may ask you a few questions like, are you sure you want to open this? You've downloaded this. Yes, of course I do. Um, we'll make sure we log in up. But once you get logged in, you're going to be here on the main Canva app page. And this is very similar to the browser version where you have all of your recent designs, some quick templates that you can start with, your home and projects here on the left-hand side. And then, of course, this just create a design button up here in the upper right now you can see i've got canva as an app in my dock now i could bring it over into uh, the main part of my dock to keep it in here but this is the canva app so i'm not actually online anymore so i'm just going to click on a design that we had open before in fact the one that i had opened at the beginning of this in the browser we can just click on that and there we go, we're right back to it. Now what the app does is it gives you a little bit more space around your window, right? You don't have the URL bar or anything at the top. You have tabs up here of each of your designs. You can add a new design starting with any of these presets or just a custom size. And you can work like this is Canva online, essentially. Uh, so there's maybe a few more options in the Canva dropdowns up here, but for the most part, uh, you know, this is exactly what Canva is generally on the browser. It's just that you can have a, ded a dedicated app version as well. So this is Canva for desktop, and it's really pretty easy to get and pretty easy to use.